I'm Dr. Jess Mason, and this is a method for chest tube placement. Before you get started, make sure your patient's pain is well controlled and secure their arm up behind their head with tape or restraint. I want to make sure this guy doesn't move. Once you're sterile, prep and drape a wide area to keep a large field visible throughout the entire procedure, from clavicle to costal margin, sternum to mid axillary line. Then you're going to palpate down to the fourth to fifth intercostal space in that anterior axillary line. That's the spot. Now let's go get our equipment set. Take the large Kelly clamp and clamp the tip of the tube. Some people alternatively will go through that distal hole. There's no right or wrong answer. Take the second Kelly clamp and clamp the other end of the tube to prevent fluids from gushing out. Now let's anesthetize the skin. Make a wheel at the skin, and then you're going to aspirate as you insert the needle. You'll know when you get in the pleural space because you'll get a gush of air or fluid back in the syringe. Then you're going to inject liberally as you withdraw the needle. Give that a minute to take effect, and then you're gonna make your skin incision. So take your 10 blade and make a nice long skin incision. And now, we're going to bluntly dissect with our Kellys, the small Kellys. Remember, we're going one rib space up because there's a neurovascular bundle that sits at the inferior margin of every rib, and we want to avoid that. Hold the Kellys here so you don't accidentally insert them too far, and insert the Kellys. Now, if you're new at this, it takes more force than you might expect, and it really does feel like a pop. That was it. That's in. Spread the Kellys open to create a hole in the pleura and insert your finger. Withdraw the Kellys. Now, I want you to feel right now in this moment that you are in the pleural space. So feel the inside of the ribs, feel the lungs, feel for adhesions. That's in for sure. Now we can take our chest tube and we're going to insert it superior posteriorly towards the apex. Guide it along your finger and insert it until the last hole is all the way in. Perfect. Now we're gonna suture it in place. So get your O-Silk. And remember, there's no proven superior method for suturing in a chest tube. Here's one method that I like. We're gonna make a simple interrupted suture on one side. Pull through so you have equal ends of suture on either side and tie a surgeon's knot. This is your anchoring knot. Wrap the ends around the tube and tie. First, I use zero form. Next, I use gauze that I've pre cut out. Now we're going to tape it in place. Now we're going to pinch the tape around the tube. Now we're going to connect our chest drain. Gracefully cut the end off. Connect your tubing and remove the clamp. Get your x-ray and you're all done.